Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So we're again doing a quick styles overview and this time we are on a Spanish plot. So this Spanish style you might have noticed from a bigger one. Oops, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I just wanted to do p-info. This is actually by Corpion Reality and they have done a bigger version of this. Um, actually with the styles databases as well guys, uh, just in case you don't know. Around where the sign is, which will say the style, it will say for a bigger version, you know, where the warp is if you want to go in and check that out. Now, I've already done a view, review on the bigger one, <clears throat> but this is um, a very unique style, and it's going to take a little bit longer than my Celtic one, which we did not too long ago. So anyway, let's go and have a little wander around. So the first thing we've got, style-wise, is, of course, the roofing. is very much like a Roman type of roof, very brick-orientated. Oriented? Oriented, not orientated. There you go, oriented. Um, the other style, of course, going across with these beams, that's very, very cool, as well as these, you know, all, all this kind of stuff is very good. The white and the actual stone itself is very good as well, and works, there we go, so there's a nice inside, very, very cramped. Don't know if this is typically Spanish, but, um, there you go, and that goes off the plot. There we go, that's that bit there. Um, I really do like the wall that they've actually used here, using th that type of rock, and also with the mix between stone brick slabs and also normal slabs. I think that really works. Uh, the path itself, of course, is a bit drier. You've got a mud mix, but with bits... Actually, I really like that. I usually hate this block now. That looks really cool there. Hmm. Anyway, you also got yeah mud mix with bits of drier kind of uh, dirt as well mixed in to make it feel a little bit more, you know, more dry in, in general. Uh, I've got some small fields there. We've also got some small trees. They're kind of like really, really tiny, tiny almost like cypress-like trees. Um, then we got the main house itself here. Now this is obviously, I'm pretty sure this house is actually, this house is on their C plot. I'm sure it is on their joint plot. I'm sure I've actually reviewed this entire house before, though probably more extended. Um, so there we go, the actual style itself, uh, they're actually missing a biome here, or they've changed that one over, but we've got, you know, the actual archways, which is, is very typical of, of, usually of hot places and of kind of like Spanish styles. Um, they do use archways a lot. It's, it's similar to very much to the Italian styles. So we've got a lot of archways. So we've got this very open but kind of, you know, sheltered area or shaded area. Shaded, shaded is the right word. Uh, but also having like hanging fruit and things like that. Looks very, very good. Um, the actual roof itself, of course, is a bit crazy. But using the slabs going up definitely is kind of like part of the style. Um, as you can see here, so we've got that in general. Uh, as well as having this kind of link across. This looks really good. It's really good just going like, you know, slab, stair, slab, stair. But having the pillars matching up with the stairs looks absolutely awesome. Uh, let's go inside anyway. There we go. So they go lots of white as well. And that's the stairs. So we, No, let's go around here first. So there we go. It's the inside. Very, very cramped. Like usual kind of medieval stuff. Nice office with a weird skull. Um... Uh, we got some beds in there as well. That's a, oh my god, look at that triple bed. Um, there you go, you got that. And if we go upstairs, up here, there uh, we go. Nice bit there. And of course here we got the walkway, which looks awesome, especially with these fence gates. They look really wicked. Just close that up. Um, there we go, we get that. And yeah, tables and stuff. I mean, it's a, in, in terms of the actual style itself, so what kind of makes up the... At least what I think of anyway, whenever I've been to Spain, it's always felt a bit quite dry. So this to me feels a little bit too green. But they also do, if you've got a lot of money in, in Spain, they do seem to make a lot of green stuff. Um, so you would have a lot of these bushes. Um, the actual biomes themselves have been used. It looks like desert. Yeah, which is what I would use. So, you know, to, to make it look that kind of like yellowish green uh, rather than anything else. Um, of course, the roofs style themselves are pretty important to it. Uh, and almost getting that almost Roman, like, Italian type of thing. That very Latin uh, kind of feel definitely works uh, there, as well as using the white up on top, as well as, you know, uh, what's it called? That's the one, light grey stained clay. Uh, looks awesome in this, really does. Uh, so they've also used that and mixed that in with some stone. And, um, yeah, it just looks really good. Really, really good style in general. Uh, this was by Corpio Reality. They have, of course, guys, got a bigger version. Um, so if you haven't seen that plot review, please do. It's the big Spanish plot. It's a Spanish plot. It's by Corpe in reality. You should be able to find it in the playlist. Um, but that's pretty much it for this quick styles overview. Um, if you guys, of course, have 
um, kind of got your own ideas about this style, feel free to jump on the Dacacraft server, build it, and um, yeah, put it up for a video review after you've been fully reviewed, and uh, it'll be really good to get some, get some ideas going anyway. Hopefully you're enjoying this video. If you have, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.